Python models. Consider a model to be the same as a code library, a file containing a set of functions you want to include in your application. Actually, a model will allow you to logically organize your Python code, and it's an object that you can as an object with named attributes that you can bind and reference. Simply, a module is a file consisting of a Python code, and a model can define functions, classes, and variables. So let's see how this works. I've created two files. The first one is the working file, module.py, and I have another module called outside. So this is the external module, or this is going to be our main module. Our code is going to run on module.py and we'll use outside as the external file. So let's begin. We can start by writing a simple function that just adds some. So add some and we'll be collecting num1 and num2. And all this does is just add these two numbers num1 plus num2 and finally it returns sum to us but like you see we've created this function in a file called outside but we want to use it inside of model this is where our import statement comes in from so if i want to import this file because they are in the same directory i would just say import outside and doing this makes all the code inside of this file available to us now all the code is available inside module.py and i can decide to execute this function inside of this file so let's do that so now that i've import outside that is this file if i want to use this function inside of this file all i need to do is just reference the model name outside and the function so what is the function add sum add sum and it takes in two variables so five and ten we can assign it to a variable let's say x is equal to and now we can print the value of x save this and let's run it and as you can see 15. so you see we import it outside into this file and even though the function is not here is inside another file importing the file makes it easy for you to assess everything inside of the external file you can also rename a model so even though this file is outside and we import it as outside what if outside is so long and you want to do something short we can say import outside as let's say import outside as maybe newer then now the name of outside has been renamed to newer so when we want to use it we use newer this is you renaming the model that's how you rename a model you just use as import outside as newer import outside as another model or new name let me say new name import module as new name and this should still work if i run it you see 15 we still get the output so that is how you rename a module also aside of the fact that you can also create your own model python has a list of external models remember when we did the math function we did import math so when you import math this is actually an inbuilt or external module from python and remember if we say math.py math.py is going to give us the value of pi so this is an external model i didn't create this it is already inside python we can also rename it as mx just like we did so it becomes mx and it should still work so if you run this you have the same thing so also if you want to see all the functions that you have inside of a model that you've imported let's say maths you can remove the name so let's leave it as import maths then you use the 
dial function okay then you go in and say math so i've assigned it to the variable x so we should print out everything we have inside so if i run this you can see all we have we have name package spec course akosh so these are everything you have inside of it and this is the pie we were trying to use just now so you see there is a lot inside of the math model from python so this is how you see everything inside and you can decide on which of them you would want to use so right here we have name let's try that name so we have we say math dot double underscore name double underscore if we run this let's see what we have so we see we have the name as math that's the name so that is just you basically making use of the different function i'm just trying to show you how you can use the different functions inside of the math model so remember a module consists of a lot of functions variables and classes so guys this is it on python models i'll see you in the next one